Through the efforts of Kia in 2011, we got a car where you don't feel like a loser at all, which was not enough for a Japanese or German business sedan. The third generation Rio occupies a unique marketplace. On it are those who need an inexpensive and nice car for every day. Lovers come here to save money, both on fuel and in maintenance. Young people are also here, from those who like to drive on something lucky, but so far cannot afford more. Rio is taken by unpretentious garage, homemade, ones, who value reliability and the ability to solve problems themselves, and young ladies who are far from service problems. Nearby, by the way, is a taxi rank. Where, where, but here they definitely know how to count money and appreciate reliability. As a result, half of the country can be written as a potential client of Rio. Do you need a reason? Everything is simple. Our country is not simple, with peculiarities. Life too. But this machine makes it a little easier. And for moderate money. Until 2014, in addition to the two already mentioned body options, we were offered two engines of 1.4 and 1.6 liters with a capacity of 107 and 123 horsepower paired with the choice of five-speed manual and four-speed automatic transmissions. In 2014, more modern six-speed manual and automatic transmissions appeared. The motors have proven themselves quite well. Further, the 1.4-liter unit under serious load will begin to think with acceleration only after a speed of 110 to 120 kilometers slash h. With a more powerful engine, such hitches no longer happen. Confident traction is always at hand. No characteristic problems with the engines were noted, although there are nuances. With reasonable operation and regular maintenance, the motors run without overhaul and 200,000 kilometers or more. The timing chain drive proved to be excellent. Unless the attachment belt tensioner mechanism is no, no, and it will ask for the intervention of a car mechanic. An important issue with engines is fuel quality. The engines are designed for AI-95 and AI-92. However, servicemen advise pouring the 95th only occasionally. Some, Ecto, or 95+. plus. Its additives have a detergent effect. But in principle, the 92nd without restrictions for both engines. It is recommended to use only proven gas stations, since the catalyst installed at the outlet is sensitive to counterfeit. It can clog after a single unsuccessful refueling. As a result, its replacement which is not cheap, in these cases are not always recognized as warranty. In reliability, the automatic transmission is not inferior to the mechanics. According to the book, it is recommended to change the oil every 90,000 kilometers, but this is clearly not enough in the city. In traffic jams, the automatic transmission is operated at increased loads, so servicemen do not consider the real interval of 45,000 kilometers to be reinsurance at all. Checked. By the way, it's the same with motors. With daily driving in hard traffic, it is worth changing the oil, oil and air filters twice as often as recommended by the manufacturer, 15,000 kilometers, once every 8,000 kilometers. As for the reliability of transmissions, B mortars have not yet fully shown themselves, there are no statistics. And in a 5-speed manual gearbox, if we don't talk about individual driving characteristics and the frequency of clutch replacement synchronizers of the first and second gears are usually the first to give up, there are difficulties with switching on. A sign of automatic transmission wear is traditionally delays and bumps when switching from reverse to drive. They are difficult to miss even for an inexperienced buyer. By the way, in terms of clutch, be guided only by yourself. It can go without replacement and up to 200,000 kilometers, but for someone it may turn out to be 10 times more modest mileage. It would be worth paying special attention to the steering rack, fault statistics, and the frequency of intervention in this node by the manufacturer. They say that not everything was in order here, especially on cars until the end of 2014. By this time, Kia had done a fair job with the components, which made the problems with the rail much less. In 2012, the rail stop material was changed from plastic to metal. In 2014, the steering rack cardan became a telescopic type instead of a fixed one. The thrust sleeve has become stronger, the reliability of the spool has increased. In a word, they worked. Another attack is also on the chassis. If Rio brakes have never had any particular complaints, then will bearings occupy a lot of lines on the owner's forms. They are concerned about the bearing life, which on average does not exceed 60,000 kilometers. This is not a little, many will say but at the end of 2013, 
the manufacturer was also forced to carry out work on the mistakes for the front bearings. The bearing diameter has been increased, lubrication and protection against dirt and dust have been optimized. Although in fact the resource of the bearings, as well as the steering rack, is highly dependent on the roads on which the car is operated. The body traditionally worries us the most. It would be wrong to say that Rio is the benchmark for environmental resistance, although it has a good paintwork. The body is partially galvanized and partially treated with an anti-corrosion coating. Chips on the paintwork are not uncommon. Moreover, not only on the traditional edges of the hood and roof. There are no moldings on the doors, so there may be minor damage here. You should not be afraid of through corrosion in Rio, but it will not be superfluous to carry a special pencil for masking chips. It successfully resists cracks and rust in places where the coating is damaged. It is worth monitoring the condition of the door and hood hinges, dirt from the outside penetrates here, so lubrication never harmed them. Same story with hood and trunk locks. Kia Rio is well trained to resist our poor quality roads. Most of all, the stabilizer struts suffer from wounds, although the wear of the bushings is quite tolerable. The life of the racks, alas, is not great. Tapping in the stabilizer, if you are unlucky with regional road builders, can occur every 15,000 to 20,000 kilometers. The guarantee, however, partly solved even this problem, not to mention others. In addition to the stabilizer, it would be worth keeping an eye on the shock absorbers, both front and rear. Again, it depends on the roads, but cases of shock absorber leakage at a range of 50,000 to 60,000 kilometers or damage to the front shock absorber mounting eye are also not uncommon. The rest of the suspension parts so often do not attract attention to themselves. And it's nice. Well, it remains to look into the salon and you can draw final conclusions. Salon Rio has always been listed as one of the best in the class, both from an aesthetic point of view and from a practical standpoint. Indeed, it will be problematic for three hammerers to comfortably sit behind. It's narrow, and the roof is tight, but there is enough space for average-sized people. Well, no questions at all. A run of 100,000 kilometers will certainly affect the condition of the driver's seat. The seat cushion will not be in the best shape, the steering wheel, pedals will be erased. Traces of time can be easily found on the gear knob and center console. Interior plastic scratches easily. However, all this when buying a used car will help determine the true age of the car in order to weed out former taxis. In general, before the deal, experts recommend checking the operation of all electrics, heating, mirror drives, power windows, radio control buttons on the steering wheel. You look, you will stumble upon an extra reason for a discount. Despite its generally budgetary essence, the Kia Rio shows itself well done, although not without some drawbacks. Of course, years have a stronger effect on such cars than in the premium sector. But this does not prevent Rio from maintaining, even after three years, about 80% of the residual value. And then it is one of the most acceptable options in this segment in terms of reliability. Our choice is version 1.6 with automatic transmission in the maximum configuration. Slightly higher fuel consumption, but we will drive humanly. And the cost of maintenance and spare parts for a Korean car will not surprise or frighten even the recent owners of the lot. Everything is more than humane, and quite durable. Suspension. Suspension complaints from many Rio owners are caused by its stiffness. Perhaps that is why the front wheel bearings often fail. However, the durability of the main parts and safety, given the class of the car, are at their best. And you can no longer remember about the frequent replacement of stabilizer struts. Only the very first Rio sinned with this. Engine. We do not recommend experimenting with engine oil. Rio motors are very expensive lubricant recommended by Kia. In addition, engines are quite sensitive to gasoline, so floating speeds may well return to normal after switching to a higher quality fuel or after flushing the throttle and replacing cams. Body. There is a misconception that if the body is galvanized, it is for life. Alas, Rio also needs protection. For example, there will never be an extra protective film in the area of the lower border of the rear wing with the tailgate. The place is vulnerable in terms of mechanical damage to the paintwork. Electrician. Frequently cited electrical faults on owner forums are a burned out heating circuit for the driver's seat and uneven operation of the climate system. Heating is easier, but repairing the climate can result in serious problems with the air conditioner. 